Hey yo interneters welcome back to another video and today we're going to learn how to do the thumb around extend. Before we get into the video I want to mention that there is a prerequisite to do this trick and that prerequisite is being able to do the thumb around. Preferably you want to be able to do this thumb around 90 to 95 percent of the time and with that being said let's get right into the video. Day one, as you can see, I am trying to do the thumb around extend and how I'm doing that is just like how the how to video told me to. So I'm doing a basic thumb around and as the pin go behind my thumb, I turn my wrist towards m my body and from there the pin will roll up into the index finger and I would try to catch it between the index finger and the middle finger mostly in day one I just practice trying to get the pin over on top of my index finger and I kept at this for quite some time I didn't focus on catching until I am able to get the pin over my finger index finger to be exact and I spent I would say close to two hours practicing I also like to mention that I am actually pushing the pin with my middle finger and not my index finger for this thumb around extend. But we'll see that uh, that will come bite me in the butt later. It did. Overall that's the sum of day one. Ooh. Day two it came right so surprisingly I learned how to do this trick within two days. So in the beginning of day two same thing trying to get the pin on top of my hand and eventually I did I didn't focus on catching it until later on in the day and I didn't have a clip of that I don't think of how I actually try to catch it but I'm able to actually do the trick now and so I'm done right so I finished the trick and the reason why I wanted to learn this trick was because I saw this move called the extended thumb around continuous or the tornado where you actually consistently just keep spinning the pen infinitely and it looked so cool I thought it was so awesome and yeah remember how I told you in the beginning of the video uh, that will come and bite me in the butt later when I'm actually doing it with my middle finger well yeah that ended up biting me in the butt here so to do the tornado majority of the people actually use one finger which is the index finger I was like yo I gotta actually start over learning this trick you know it's cool I don't mind I learned this in two days so I took a break reset in my mind day three rolls around and in my head I was thinking you know I learned this in two days right with my middle finger it's not gonna be a problem if I gotta do it again with my index finger it's not gonna be bad right about to be a long day today so on day three I practice similarly to how I practice on day one when I did it with my middle finger on some occasions I'm able to catch the pin and that's just because I got used to it from doing with my middle finger but still learning with the index finger is practically starting over and learning this trick and I feel like that's how how it's going to be if you do it with each different fingers it's just because your fingers not used to it compared to the other fingers that you're able to do it with right so yeah I spent about 150 minutes trying to relearn this trick uh. so day four man this was the longest day for me it was because I felt so behind compared to day two of me learning the thumb around extend with my middle finger why is because by the time i got to day two i was able to do it but on day four which is technically my second day of learning the thumb around extend with my index finger i couldn't get it down for some reason it was just very inconsistent i'm able to catch the pin sometime but 
sometimes I can't. I'm able to get the pin on top of my index finger sometime, but majority of the time I can't. And this inconsistency just put me on full tilt, right? And so with that, I spent a lot of time practicing to try to catch up to my, I guess you could call it the thumb around extend using my middle finger. So I practiced for a total of 470 plus minutes. You could tell I didn't sleep on day four just so I could try to learn this thumb around extend using the index finger. Why? It's for the sole purpose of learning the tornado. And at the end of the day, is it worth it? Yes, because I'm learning something new. So it's fun at the same time, even though this was the longest day, I had the most memorable and fun day on day four because it was the most frustrating. It was just a combination of all kinds of feelings. And at the end, I was able to learn how to do the trick and that made it very worthwhile. And so with me learning the trick on day four with no sleep, on day five, you get to see me try to learn how to do the so-called pen trick that I so, so want to do, which is the tornado. So day five rolled up around the corner. And you know, are you thinking like, hey, since you're able to do the thumb around and extend with your index finger consistently, you're able to do the tornado easily, right? No, no, I'm not gonna make the same mistake like I did on day three and jinx myself. Uh, it's not that uh, simple. You have to practice a lot to try to make it smooth when you link those two tricks back and forth together. It's all about timing your risk and I can't seem to get that right. There are some clips of me uh, doing it on day five and I think out of all my times practicing for like three and a half hours, I only got close one time and there's just this one clip for you to show how close I was. But yeah, that's all I have for today. I will continue practicing this tornado and update this video once I'm officially able to learn it. In total, I spent 1,058 minutes, 13 seconds, and I dropped the pin 17,748 times. If you like what you saw, please hit the subscribe and like button and leave a comment below on what you thought of the video. And thanks for watching.